Hello everyone. Uh, so this time there were a lot of questions from biochemistry, and uh, I hope you know they were all doable, right? There were a lot of questions from vitamins, right? A lot of questions from the other topics. So definitely there were a lot of questions, but I am able to collect right now few questions, and uh, I believe that you will be able to just add on some more questions to my this ppt right and once i have all the questions together i will come up with more detailed discussion later on right and before that i believe that you all guys will pass pass the exams right so let's let's uh, take a look okay <clears throat> so our first question is uh, a patient, so probably this has been discussed uh, already, a patient come with a glossitis, chelitis and burning sensation in the feet. So this condition is found in which of the following? So guys, answer for this probably, you know, looking at the question, glossitis and chelitis is there. That is angular stomatitis can also be there. And guys, peripheral neuropathy, that is burning sensation is peripheral neuropathy. Okay, so the best answer here is riboflavin. Okay, riboflavin. Guys, riboflavin present with the triad of the three symptoms what are the three symptoms we have the three symptoms we have is number one is glossitis right we can remember a mnemonic that is great flavor so flavor means riboflavin and glossitis then uh you know guys glutathione reductase test is also there fine but what we have to remember is the three symptoms glossitis chelitis and uh corneal neovascularization so these are the three points only that we have to remember okay and if there was a separate question on the burning feet syndrome then b5 or the pantothenate was the answer right probably that will be the answer correct guys if there was a separate question on burning uh, feet syndrome then it will be the answer and guys if there is a question only on peripheral neuropathy or the burning feet sensation so that burning feet syndrome is a different thing burning feet sensation is a different thing Burning feet syndrome is B5 or pantothenate, right? B5, 5. So, feet has 5 fingers. Just remember like that. But burning sensation, that means it's a peripheral neuropathy. And guys, peripheral neuropathy more commonly occurs because of B12 deficiency, which is not in the option right now. But B12 is one of the most common cause I have to answer. If some this question you see anywhere in future, B12 is the best answer for peripheral neuropathies like burning sensations, right? In feet, in fingers, in thumbs, wherever, wherever it is, right? Okay. Okay, so next question is uh, niacin is derived from. So the answer for this question again, a question which is very common and very repeated PYQ that is tryptophan, right? 60 milligrams of tryptophan gives us 1 milligram of niacin. So we have discussed that already in class. So most of the questions that we have here. We have already discussed them in class, right? Which of the following amino acid was this a question, guys? You can always correct me if uh, something is okay. If something is not there, uh, yes. If this question is incomplete, then please uh, please let me know. There was two questions. There were two questions on uh, niacin, right? There were two questions. One was they asked the name of the amino acid, or if there were similar question, then it was you know, guys. The necklace type of dermatitis, right? This was given that is Castle's necklace. Okay. If this was a one question, then again tryptophan is the answer. Correct. So uh, guys, I request you if the if you find the question is if you see the question is incomplete, then uh, I'll be glad to add the points here. Fine. Okay. Which of the following amino acid helps? So this question I have discussed so many times in classes also that purines and pyrimidine they differ in the glycine if this was the question exactly so guys the answer will be option number a aspartate glutamate and glycine glycine is not required in pyrimidines okay pyrimidines do not require any glycine so that is the only difference right between the purines and pyrimidines if i say regarding the sources of nitrogen or amino acids right okay <clears throat> For exome sequencing, okay. What were the options, uh, Divya? Let me know if there was a question on genome sequencing or exome sequencing. What was the options were given? Okay, this is a very simple question. Now, skeletal muscles and adipose tissues have which glut? 
so some students said that insulin dependent was also mentioned so answer is glut4 right even the heart has the glut4 so again a very common and repeated pyq this was so guys answer is glut4 here clear then a child has a thick skin right that is something that we don't know right but we know the air pinna hyperpigmentation right and you know hyperpigmentation is seen out of the three options here what i have the only disease where the hyperpigmentation is seen is the alkaptonuria right so even if i don't know about ear pinna but if i remember hyperpigmentation that is definitely you know on the palms on the soles on the ear pinna on the tip of the nose right so there are a lot of areas where the hyperpigmentation can occur so that is alkaptonuria right guys oh O chronosis is the other name. So, if alkaptonuria is not mentioned, then O chronosis is the other name for the same disease. Fine, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Fine. G A G. What was the question, Rakshit? Uh, please let me know. What was the question on <clears throat> Palagra question? Exome sequencing. Divya, let me know the question on exome sequencing. They asked the technique or something else. What was the question? So, if they ask a technique like you know sequencing of the uh, you know a DNA nowadays, we can do by the next generation sequencing NGS, next generation sequencing, or I, we can do Sanger sequencing. There are a lot of techniques are available. So, what was the option basically that matters? Okay. So, a type two diabetic patient comes to uh, the family doctor and is found to have a very high cholesterol levels. The doctor prescribed a drug which inhibits the rate limiting enzyme. So, guys, what is the rate limiting enzyme of the cholesterol synthesis? That is the HMG CoA reductase. Statins inhibit this enzyme. Clear? We all know this. HMG CoA synthase, right? Guys, this is the enzyme which is also found in cholesterol synthesis, but it is not rate limiting. But, guys, this is the rate limiting enzyme of the ketone body synthesis, right? For the ketone synthesis so that is the rate limiting enzyme okay for the ketone synthesis clear yeah? fine lies again is not uh, it is part of the only uh, what you can say is ketone synthesis not the part of cholesterol synthesis right but what is the common between ketone and cholesterol that is hmg coa synthase correct guys ye <coughs> question nahi tha okay so uh, please correct me. What was the exact question? It was Ishtiak Alam. Please let me know right in the comment section. <clears throat> but yes, there was a question regarding uh, the HMG reductase. A person present with a necklace like so, guys, uh, this question we have already discussed. If it was a one question only, then answer is again tryptophan. Okay. A patient, guys, this question I need your help. I have taken this question deliberately because uh, I got no options here. Right, but the question says that it has patient as hyperammonemia. See, guys, hyperammonemia. Yes, then it can be urea cycle disorder if it is hyperammonemia only. Right, but guys, in urea cycle disorder, there is no lactic acidosis. Okay, there is actually, you know, if I say increased ammonia levels, yes, urea cycle disorder. Then, guys, there is a respiratory alkalosis. You know why? Because because what happens the ammonia damages the brain and induces hyperventilation and because of hyperventilation and co2 washout the respiratory alkalosis occurs in urea cycle disorders not the lactic acidosis so this cannot be the answer right then again the patient has jaundice and again the urea cycle disorder patient doesn't present with jaundice right okay there even the lft may not be deranged correct so, I don't know what exactly was the question, but why I took this question to tell you that urea cycle disorder present with hyperammonemia plus respiratory alkalosis, okay, not with any acidosis. So, please remember this always, right? Okay, this can help in your future exams like NEET, PG and all. So, remember this, fine, <clears throat> okay. Then, guys, other symptoms are also required like there is a hypoglycemia or not, something like that. So, if there is a hyperammonemia, lactic acidosis, hypoglycemia, then it can be PDH deficiency, congenital lactic acidosis. Age of the patient is also not given. So, there are a lot of things missing here. 
but yes remember it's not urea cycle disorder okay if 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 this was the mcq then it is not urea cycle disorder okay chalo uh guys bleeding gum again uh, it's very simple vitamin c and what is the other feature of vitamin c deficiency that you must know that is peri follicular hemorrhage that is bleeding around the hair follicle okay so this is actually very important one peri follicular hemorrhage so if this was bleeding gum then vitamin c is very simple answer guys this was a very simple question again that they simply asked that which of the following cell cycle stage has dna synthesis so obviously as phase synthetic phase right dna replication i mean to say dna synthesis occurs in s phase of the cell cycle right so that will be our correct answer right guys okay so these were the questions right that i found uh, in a correct state with some options there were some more questions right that i have not included there was some question on like what which of the following is a mitochondrial enzyme so can anyone just uh right can anyone mention the name of enzymes enzyme of mitochondria guys gray vacuum cleaner there was a question and fluoride must be the answer there right fluoride and uh, okay so if you have any other questions then please let me know these are the questions which were deaf because i i uh, consulted with multiple students and they said these were the questions available well i'll come back again with all the detailed you know questions and answers right till then i wish you all the best so stay calm and enjoy your time bye bye